Hey everybody, so this is a delayed reaction response to uh, Brazil's surprise elimination from the Copa America. First things first, uh, it was a handball. Ra Raul Rui Diaz did handle it in the box in the 78th minute. Whether it was intentional or not, I don't know, but he did clearly bring the ball down with his hand and place the in the back of the net with his right foot. It should not have been a goal, but the whole mass confusion and hysteria that ensued for five minutes after that went in on whether or not they were going to count the goal, it was the right decision to count the goal. Why does that, how does that make sense? Well, in football, when a refereeing decision is awarded, regardless if it's the right call or not, that decision cannot be reversed. So, if he had awarded the goal to Peru, which he did, and then had decided to take it away, uh, that would have been preferential treatment. And you would see a lot of people flying all over with accusations that, oh, if it was any other team except Brazil, they wouldn't, they wouldn't have reconsidered the decision. But because it was Brazil that suffered from it, they want to, you know, change their mind on it. N here's the thing. I don't agree with the decision. It should not have been a goal. But um, it was the right decision to uh, not take away the goal, to dismiss it. Because, like I said, the rules are in football that once it is a goal is awarded, it can't be taken away a few minutes later. Should I think that rule should change? Yeah, because I think that football needs to uh, install uh, replays, not only for uh, goal scoring opportunities, but for fouls, for controversial decisions of the ball going over the line or not. Um, it needs to be updated. Now, having said all that, having said all of that, Brazil did not deserve to go through. Yes, I said that right. Brazil did not deserve to advance. You look at the way Brazil played in this tournament. I know they brought a second uh, string side, but if you can't, if you can only score goals against Haiti and not score any goals at all in your matches between Ecuador and Peru, you don't deserve to go through. And if you looked at the way that Brazil played uh, in the last match against Peru, you could tell that Peru clearly wanted it more. Peru, Peru came out as the more hungry side. They created more uh, scoring opportunities. Um, there were periods of the game where both, where both teams are pretty much level as far as um, overall quality and who was really going after the game trying to get that first goal. But if you look at both teams' overall performances over the span of three games in this group, Peru deserved to advance. It should not have been a goal, but it's sort of poetic justice in the end. It would have been worse, I think. It would have been worse if it had been the opposite, if Brazil had a, had a goal off a handball that was allowed than the Peruvians because Peru played in this tournament like a team that wanted to go through, that deserved to go through. And <clears throat> it wouldn't have sat well, for me personally, it would not have sat well in my stomach if Brazil had won the group with two, zero, with two draws, 0-0, <clears throat> zero, zero, and a 7-1 crushing of Haiti. It wouldn't have sat well. I, if you saw the match between Ecuador and Peru, that was an exhilarating match, ended 2-2, two those two teams really were the two best in this group. They both uh, are worthy of going to the quarterfinals. This Brazil team, no. And I think, hopefully in the long run, this is a blessing in disguise for the Brazilian team because they need to get rid of Dunga. I'm sorry, but Dunga is a crap coach. He's a crap coach. Uh, I don't know why they brought him back. He, he was a failure for them at the 2010 World Cup and in qualifying for the 2010 World Cup where Brazil was drawing all their matches 0-0 at home and they only barely qualified. So I think they need a new coach. They need to completely revamp the Brazilian soccer league system and hopefully this will add fire to the fuel, excuse me, fuel to the fire, 
and jumpstart some much needed reforms in uh, the CBF, the Confederation of Brazilian Football. Uh, Brazil did not deserve to go through, and I, I don't care if anyone disagrees with me on that. They, they didn't play like a team that deserved to go through. Peru were the best team in this group, and they deserved to win the group. Ecuador deserved to go through. Ecuador had a goal disallowed last week against Brazil when it clearly did not cross the line, and the goalkeeper, Allison for Brazil, fumbled it into his own net, and that should have been a loss for Brazil. So, if anything, Ecuador should have finished this group with seven points. But, you know, anyway, those are just my thoughts. Yes, I agree, it was a handball. It should not have been a goal. But as far as how, the lo how it affected um, the long-term consequences of who advanced, I think Peru are a good team. They deserve to go through. Brazil, they deserve to go home. So that's my reaction to that. Um, <clears throat> my reaction to the games last night. Um, Uruguay, Jamaica, like I said, they were just pretty much playing for pride. I really wanted Jamaica to score a goal this Copa, but they didn't. Now they are the only team, they will be the only team to have not scored in this tournament. And um, credit to Uruguay for getting a consolation win. Edison Cavani still did not have a good night. It was reflective of his overall uh, luck in this tournament. He had so many chances to get on the board, but he just he just couldn't. The ball just couldn't fall to him in a way where he could just poke it into the back of the net. I really wanted him to score, too, because he's had such a bad tournament, but that wasn't meant to be. Still, Uruguay got a good win, and they can at least go home now with some pride and focus on their qualifying campaign they're still at the top. They're still at the top right now of South American qualifying with 13 points. And I think they will qualify for the World Cup. Um, so this performance is not reflective of Uruguay's overall quality. I, st I think they are one of the best teams in the world still. They just got unlucky against an inspired Venezuelan side. And that happens. Uh, speaking of Venezuela, Mexico, that game was very exciting. Velasquez with a nice uh, back heel kick to give Venezuela the surprise lead. Venezuela coming within, I think it was only 15 minutes of winning the group and sending Mexico into a quarterfinal clash, most likely against Argentina. Mexico, uh, Teca, Teca, Tecacito Jesus Corona saved their asses, though got the point they needed to avoid an Argentine clash because in my opinion if they had met Argentina in the quarterfinals that would have been an early elimination for Mexico sorry um, but that was a beautiful dribble into the box to set the goal for Jesus Corona he dribbled around five Venezuelan defenders it was a beautiful goal and uh, I think Mexico did deserve the draw and both teams advance on seven points, but Mexico wins the group on superior goal differential. So Venezuela is most likely to play Argentina now in the quarterfinals. Mexico will find out their opponent later tonight in the winner between pa Panama and Chile. And um, today is the last day of group stage matches at the Copa America. And after this, we'll, we'll know all eight teams in the quarterfinals. And that's when the serious business uh, comes down. So, that's it. That's pretty much my thoughts on, on Peru's elimination of Brazil and last night's Copa America game. So, leave a comment below, like, subscribe, give some feedback. What do you think of Brazil's elimination? Did they deserve to go through? Did they not deserve to go through? What did you think of last night's game between Venezuela and Mexico, which was a very exciting clash? And uh, what are your expectations for the wrapping up of Group D matches today between Argentina and Bolivia and Chile and Panama. Remember, based on superior goal differential, Panama has to beat Chile tonight. Chile only needs a draw. So, till then, guys, like always, I'll see you later today. And go enjoy the Euro games for now. Have a good afternoon. Happy Tuesday. And um, as always, peace out.